Before we begin, please make sure that the Swim Wishlist Plus app is installed and configured for your store. And also have the Swim blog instructions open to follow along smoothly. The link to the blog is given in the description of this video. And we are using Chrome as a primary browser to preview the changes. Let's begin. Step 1. Identify the right icon family for your store. This is a check to see if your theme supports the Font Awesome library. Navigate to your store. Right click on the card icon. And click on Inspect. This brings up the Developer Console below. On the Elements pane in the Developer Console, find your card element HTML tag. We can find the tag by hovering over the HTML tags on the Elements pane. We can see that hovering over this element highlights the card icon on your store's header. Please make a note of the card element class or the header bar class, as we need to come back and find it in the future step. After making a note, let's continue. Check to see if card element has the keyword FAFA icon. You can also search for the keyword by pressing Ctrl key plus F if you're using Windows or Command key plus F if you're on a Mac in the Elements pane. This brings up the search input field where you can search for the FAFA icon keyword. This keyword is always present in icons for themes that have enabled Fond Awesome library. But, as we see here there are no highlighted icon elements. If the keyword is found, the Elements pane will highlight the keyword and your theme uses the Fond Awesome library. If not, your theme does not use the Fond Awesome library. Pause the video here and go back to find the icon family on your store so that we are on the same page. At the end of this step, we should know if our theme has the Fond Awesome library enabled or not and the cart or the header bar element class name so that we can reference it back in the future step. We've identified that as there were no highlighted elements in our elements pane. This theme in this video does not use the Fond Awesome library. Step 2. Navigate to your theme code editor. After identifying the type of icon your store uses, we have to add our header code to the header file. In order to do that, we have to navigate to the theme code editor and find the right files. Go to your Shopify store admin panel and click on the online store. This navigates to the themes section. On your themes section, let's create a duplicate copy of your live theme so that our changes don't affect the published theme which your customers see. To create a duplicate copy, click on the Actions drop-down and select Duplicate. Shopify will now create a copy of your theme which we can add our changes to and publish later on. Please pause the video here to make a copy of your theme so that we are on the same page. After making a duplicate copy, we can now navigate to the theme code editor. On your copy theme, click on the Actions drop-down and click on the Edit Code. This navigates you to the theme code editor where we can make our changes to header files. The theme code editor has two parts, the file tree to your left and the code editor to the right. We can also preview our site by clicking on the preview after making any changes. This completes this step and we can now move on to finding the right file. Step 3. Identify the right header file of your theme. We need to locate the header files that are specific to your theme. Your header file name varies according to the theme and it may have different file names for mobile and desktop versions. Our Swim blog contains a list of most possible header file names that are available for your theme. Please follow this video along for easy identification of the file and we have added many pauses where required as this step is crucial for all the other steps. Let's begin. On your theme code editor, click on the search bar in the file tree. In the search bar, let's search for the file name header.liquid as listed in our swim blog. The search will return the file if found. And this is our header file that controls our theme header. Please pause the video here to perform this step in your theme code editor. 
most themes have this as the header file name. And if your search did not return the file. Don't worry. We just have a scenario where the file name is different due to the theme. Try our other file names listed in the blog and if it still doesn't return any file. Please contact your theme developer to know the exact file name. After finding the file, we have to click on it to open it with our editor on the right. Now that the file is found, let's find the location on where we need to add our swim code for the header. Let's navigate back to our store. Let's assume that we want our launch point anchor right next to the card icon. We can do this by finding the location of the card element code and pasting our code from the blog right above that. So, let's start. On our theme editor, select the header file tab and press Ctrl plus F if you're using Windows or Command plus F if you're on a Mac to bring the search field. Let's search by typing the word cart into the search field, or we can also use the class name we've noted down from step one. For the sake of simplicity, we will search the word cart instead. This will highlight and scroll towards all the code that has the word cart in it and we need to identify the right one. Remember the cart class we had made note of from step 1, try to find the same one in the header.liquid as it's usually the unique class for the cart. We've identified the cart code block using the class name, now let's copy this section and paste it above to duplicate it. Pause the video here and find the card icon code on your liquid file. After duplicating the card code, click on Save and click on the Preview button. This should now bring two card icons in our header on our Preview tab. We've now identified the location to paste our header code into. All that is left is to paste the required code from our blog, replacing the duplicated card code, and we're almost done. Excellent. Step 4. Copy and paste the relevant code from the blog to the header file. Navigate back to our swim blog. If your theme uses the font awesome library identified from step 1, scroll to the section option 1a and use the code snippet and follow the same instructions. As our theme in this video does not use the font awesome library, we have to use the section option 1b the option 1a has only the HTML section, whereas the option 1b has two parts, HTML and the CSS. We can click on the HTML pane in the option 1b. Copy this entire anchor tag code block. Navigate back to the header file and paste this anchor tag code, replacing the duplicated anchor tag cart code from the previous step. Please pause the video here to follow along with the copy and replace. After copying the code, click on the Save button and click the Preview button. If your theme has the Font Awesome library support, nothing further is needed, and your theme should have now an enabled heart icon next to cart. If you're using the Font Awesome library, the CSS is added automatically from the asset file, so we can skip the next few minutes of this video and move on to the next step. If not, and you see a blank header, don't panic. We still have one more step for themes that do not use the Font Awesome library. Let's continue. Now that we have added our header code, we still need to add the CSS that is required by the icon. This is the reason for the vanishing card icon, as we have replaced it with the header icon without the CSS. In order to add the CSS, we need to find the right file that has all the CSS code for your theme. Navigate back to the theme code editor. Find the .scss file that controls the CSS for your theme. Click on the search field above the file tree and search for .scss. The .scss file can either be a theme.scss or a styles.scss. It can also vary according to your theme. 
just like the header file, this file too varies according to your theme, so please contact your theme developer to know which is the file. For this theme, it is theme.scss. Let's go back to our blog and copy this entire CSS section. Present in the option 1B. Navigate back to the theme.scss and scroll to the end of the file and add a comment, swim header CSS, so that we can come back to it later on. And paste our CSS code right below the comment. Please pause the video here and copy the CSS to your stores.scss file. Click on the save button. Click on the preview button. We should now see a heart next to the card icon. There it is, we've successfully enabled the header launch point. Let's click on it once to verify its functionality. It works seamlessly. Good job. We now move on towards the final step. Checking the launch point on mobile version of the theme. Step 5. Enabling the launch point on mobile screens. Some themes separate the header code file for mobile and desktop. This would mean that even though our code is present in the theme files, the header icon that is rendered for mobile can be entirely different. So, let's find the file or the class and add our HTML code again so that our launch point can work on mobile. Let's begin. Navigate back to our store after enabling the launch point. And right-click on the card icon and click Inspect. This would bring up the developer tools again, and we can see the elements pane in the bottom. To the left of the elements pane, we can see an icon with mobile and tablet. This is our device toolbar, it helps us view our theme for different screen resolutions. Click on it to enable it. This would reduce the screen size and bring up the resolutions menu. As soon as the screen size was reduced, you could notice that our header launch point is no longer visible. Let's find out what happened. Click on the Inspect Element pointer to the left of the element pane. And click on the card element. This would now update the card class's name in the elements pane below. Note, please make a note of the class name for card icon in the elements pane, as this step is similar to enabling our desktop version. The class name where we pasted our launch point code previously and the class name that is here are clearly different. We need to add the code from our blog in this class as well to enable the launch point on these screen sizes. So, let's find this class in the liquid file and add our code again. Let's navigate back to our header.liquid file in our theme code editor and search for the mobile class name that we noted from the elements pane. Let's bring up the search bar by pressing Ctrl plus F or Command plus F if you're using a Mac on your header.liquid file. And search for the card element with the class name for mobile, copied from elements pane. This will now bring up the location of our card element code and we can duplicate it, making sure that it has the same class name as the one found in elements pane. Let's add a comment above so that we are not confused when we come back to it later on. To add a comment, press Ctrl plus forward slash or Command plus forward slash if you're on a Mac. And type swim header mobile code location. Copy the entire anchor tag of the card element. and paste it below the newly added comment. Please pause the video here to perform the required steps and come back to the video again. After duplicating the card element, we can click on Save, and then click on Preview. We need to inspect and go into mobile resolution to view the changes that we made. We can now see there are two card icons. Excellent, we've found the location to paste our code into. The final step to enable the header on mobile is to add our HTML code replacing the duplicated cart code. Let's head back to our blog. 
and go to the section option 1b. To remind us again, this section is for themes that do not use Fond Awesome. If your theme uses Fond Awesome, go to section option 1a. Copy this entire HTML anchor tag. And navigate back to the header file. Find our duplicate cart code below the comment and replace it with the copied code. Please pause the video here to perform the mentioned steps and come back to the video again. Save the file and click on Preview. And go to Mobile View again. If all goes well, we should see a hard icon on our mobile header. There it is. Excellent. Let's click on it to verify its functionality. It works perfectly. This completes the walkthrough, hopefully, you've not run into any issues, and have now enabled the launch point in your header. If you face any issues while enabling the header launch point, we are always happy to help. You can always contact us using our support email. You can mail us at support at Thank you and have a great day.